Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Swice Plays Magic the Gathering Arena. Today, we're going right back to our good old fashioned Orzov aggro deck here. So, we're going to be playing best of threes, standard ranked. We're going to keep working up that ladder. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've made some adjustments based off last time um, that you saw in the video to hopefully better suit some of these control decks that we're playing. Maybe we'll get a chance to test it out since we see Teferi. But we'll see here. Yeah, we actually got a reasonable hand. It would be nice if we had a swamp, but we got a chance to draw into it here. Better than last time. Last time we kept drawing hands with like one or zero lands. So, there's that. Okay, so I think we're actually gonna draw the Knight of Dawn's Light turn one. That'll let us at least proc some extra life from the Okiba Reckon Array. Okay, so we're likely up against the blue tempo deck. I'm gonna go wedding announcement to get enchantment down. That's fine. I will search for... I'll grab a planes, since we have two swap in hand. Demolition field does not really affect us that much. There we go, there's a shield dread. That's something. Aether channeler, that's a new one. So maybe this is a different tempo deck. Not seen this before in this deck. It does give a little extra card draw, you know. Deluge, okay. Yeah, so this is all pretty much fine, I think. We'll play the Knight of Dawn's Light here. As well as the Okiba Reckoner Raid, just to get some of that extra life back. And then it appears that we're going to be safe to swing with Shield Dread here. And actually, probably the 1 1 as well. I don't really see a reason not to, because if we trade, we trade, and I'm fine with that. Okay. You got the trade, man. Boom, everybody's big. Nice, got him. All right, so this feels semi controlly So I think we're going to want, I think we're gonna want our shield dreads here. We'll pull out the Shakedown Heavies and the Archangel of Wrath and try and go a little more aggro-y. Something like... What are the other two that we want? Probably Muriel here. Probably something like that. Seems reasonable. Intrepid Adversary is another one here that I, I think we could do without. But I might leave him in for this game, and then if we, just, if we lose and we decide we want to switch it up, we can put in maybe the duress. I think that's uh, I think that's correct. Okay. Eh, not the worst. We'll hang on to it. We got a turn one play here as well as a turn two with dropping in a special land and playing the Akiba Reckoner Aid. Or we could do this and play Elus Ilkor just to get a creature down. Counterspell? Counterspell. 
That's fine. Let's go with the Shattered Sanctum here. And just go ahead and drop the Okiba Reckoner Raid. And leave up the two mana for Infernal Grasp. We'll again play a Shattered Sanctum. Although, probably should have played the Sunlit Marsh since we weren't planning on playing anything this turn. But at four mana, we should be able to play whatever we need. So we've seen a Syncopate as a counterspell and a Memory Deluge. Not sure what his win condition is. It's probably Teferi based off the amount of card draw. Trepid Adversary, huh? Let's drop the Sunlit Marsh and go ahead and play the Intrepid Adversary. It's not much, but if we can get an extra damage out of it, I'll take it, I guess. That's fine. Give me another Elysig Ilkor down. Bounce that back to my hand. It's actually probably good for us. Do we want to play it back here or go big? Let's go big or go home. Another memory deluge. Yeah, so I think those Muriels are actually probably going to be pretty good here for us. Karn Silex, huh? That's unfortunate. So maybe we consider adding the... Dang it. Maybe we consider adding the uh, the Fading Hope or whatever that uh, dual color, multicolor removal spell is. Okay, you got it. To remove some, that'll help us remove something like Card Silex. Doki. Ah, so much land. damage in. Play a guy. And I think call it a day. Okay, that's fine. Removing this. once, see what happens. Great. Since we have another one in hand, that's not the end of the world. Okay, we got the Okiba Reckoner down. What you got for us, Obama? Probably something I don't like, huh? Another land! I guess we're probably still within the expected parameters for 
the amount of land that we would expect to be drawing. Another Aether Channeler. We saw that before. Alright. Oh, that hurts a little bit. No need to use the Infernal Grasp just yet. We'll happily take the three. There's something. Let's swing first, see what he does. Go to the player of all sleeper, probably see it get countered. No, oh, that's nice. Hull Breaker Horror, flash, the spell can't be countered. Whenever you cast the spell, choose up to one. Turn target spell you don't control, who's under scanner, turn target not land permanent. Okay, so we'll let that resolve. And then we'll kill it. Ah, interesting. That's an interesting way to remove it, is just bounce it back to your hand. Comes back down. Alright, well I'm going to at least go ahead and get my card out of this, I think. That's something. Might as well kill, like, the Aether Channeler here. That's actually not the worst for us, because we can continue our pain damage here. Okay, so we see one mana up. We can go ahead and play out our hand, I think, pretty safely. That feels pretty good. Now we'll see what happens. Bounce two things back to my hand. Alright, we'll draw off of it. Think we have just enough mana? Yes, we do. And we get a land. Great. Wonderful news. There's Teferi. Okay, so this is a pure Fastest control possible. deck. I'm I mean, now very simple. An interesting fact. Very well laid out control deck. So we'll go ahead and play Elis Ilkord first. It resolves, that's good. He counters. That guy, that's fine. We can go ahead and replay. Okay. We see half his deck's gone through already. And that's a great ability. Really cool card for a control deck. So Muriel is actually going to be phenomenal in this matchup. Because then he can't be doing all these things on my turn.
Whoa! Crazy. I'll go ahead and hop into game three. Yeah, Miro's gonna be really good. Um, I think we do want Legion to Ashes here, so we're gonna pull out... Pull out the Intrepid Adversaries, throw in the Legion to Ashes. Maybe we want the Duresses? Over what, though? Probably the pull two cutdowns, put in two Duress, something like that. Seems reasonable. Definitely want to play first. There's our one land hand. There's our five land hand. Jeez. Guess we got to keep it. Drop a land. Probably one of the Sunlight Marshes. Well, maybe actually like the planes. Probably the planes, yeah. This way we can wait till turn two to duress. And we'll have, you know, a ton of variability in our mana pools. So since we pulled the Evolved Sleeper, we're actually going to play a swamp here. We'll duress first. To either bait out a counterspell if he has a one mana counterspell. There's a syncopate. So we probably get rid of that. And then we can play our Evolve Sleeper. Yep, saw that one coming. We'll just play the Evolve Sleeper again. And we end our turn. He continues with the card draw. Now, if we can get down Shieldred early, and then if we can draw into a Muriel, if we can get that combo off, I think we can just straight up win this. I'm going to play the Planes, and I'm going to swing first. And then drop Shield Dread. And pray it does not get countered or bounce. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go grab a Swamp. In case we pull into... Uh, Invoke Despair. Or whatever that 5 drop is called. Good. Okay, Aether Channeler's fine. That sucks a little bit. That sucks a little bit. Let's go ahead and buff our Evolve Sleeper here. For one. We'll swing first again. Okay, I'm willing to just take the trade. And try and get shield red down. Great. Oh, these bounce effects are killing us. Killing us, man. I think we want to go ahead and get shield red down again. I think it's kind of dumb not to try and keep getting him down. Because at some point, he's going to want to draw. If he can't pull into, you know, these specific cards that he needs, he's going to want to start using draw cards. Great. So if we can get Muriel to resolve here. Alright, alright. We'll swing. We got him down to seven. We get him down to five. He uses Memory Deluge. That leaves up two mana. 
so we could still see a counter spell of some kind. Three mana. Aether chan ah, Aether Chandler sucks. I'll just bounce shield go back to hand, yep. Oh, and we can't play it because of this stupid Okay, that's fine. One well, Infernal Grasp. And then Welcoming Vampire. Oh, we can't play that either because Aether Channeler. Didn't realize this effect stayed. Alright, alright. Another Aether Channeler. He's just trying to keep my board clear right now, I guess. Okay. So we can risk dropping Shield Red for a counter. Two cards in hand. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, okay. That hurts a bit. But so be it. So this turn we can go Welcoming Vampire. Probably see it get countered again. Great. Then we'll drop the Knight of Dodd's Light. That'll at least give us an extra card here. Just getting creatures down on the battlefield is really nice here. Ah, the Aether Channelers! I mean, I guess we'll swing first. Maybe he'll make a mistake and not block us. He does block us. Um, okay, so I think we're okay to just let the damage occur. Because we're dealing two first. Great. Then we can go... Back to our roots, I guess. Welcoming Vampire. Heal us Ilkor. Draw a card. Seems reasonable. Is he gonna nuke everything for three? Just for two. No, he got three counters on it. Okay. This costs three to trigger, plus it. Ah, uh, we got him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Woo, that was close. That was close. But it feels like our anti-control deck strategy is getting there. I don't think it's perfect yet. I think we've still got some work to do. But that felt pretty good. That felt pretty good. I'm gonna mulligan. All right, we'll have to keep it. We'll throw back the, the shakedown heavy. Is it a mirror match? So much pinging going on. Okay, so this is a pseudo aggro deck. I think we'll trade with the Tenacious Underdog here if he swings. Or not. Enough with the mysteries. I've come for answers. <gasps> Sacrifices must be made. Alright. Um, I think we'll go wedding announcement here, actually. We'll probably end up going double wedding announcement unless we get something we really like. 
with the filer of flesh. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. That is good. That's what we wanted. I'm gonna not swing here. I think we're gonna win this by building up our board, actually. I want to keep the wedding announcement down, for sure. I'm done here. Fine. I'll take my zombie. Ah, one of your friends has so to. So we'll take a lot, because I'm not going to block it all here. So it's probably another wedding announcement, just to get creatures on the board. We got a cut down, which is nice. We can remove something with it. Shield Dread hurts us a little bit here. We really didn't draw into any of our life gain effects. I'm not too worried going forward here. Everything gets messed up. Huh? I mean, I guess. Something like that. Oh, we got enough key. Alright. Okay, um, so we want all of our life link in here. And we want definitely the Brutal Cathar and the Goat for the Throat. Um, we probably want to take out our Infernal Grasps and go with Legion to Ashes instead. And then pull out... What else do we want out of here? The Shakedown Heavies. Hmm. Maybe the Intrepid Adversaries. And then one like Okiba Reckoner Raid or something. Something like that. feel like that's correct. We may want the other shield dreads because we're up against shield dread, but I don't know what I'd pull out for him here. We'll go with this. Leave the shield dreads out for now. Definitely want to play first. Got a good hand. Keeping it. Swamp of all sleep return one. Cannot get mad about that. Nice, we got another land. Go ahead and pump our ball sleeper once. So we got some good removal here. We've got to invoke despair in case we see a planeswalker in a little while. Three Okiba Reckoner raids. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and get the welcoming vampire down. The Archangel of Wrath can be really nice here because we can use it to pick something off, pick one of these Okiba Reckoner raids off. Go ahead and drop the Sunlit Marsh. Now we could use Go for the Throat here. Probably... Probably want to save it in case we see a Shield Dread. So I'm going to drop Bela Silcor and then just swing with the Vampire. Great. Great, great, great. Alright, so he's getting a lot of creatures out on the field. And that's fine, they're all two dudes, but they do have a menace. Okay. I don't think I'm worried about any of this. Even though we're down to 14, 
If we draw into one land, didn't get it. Uh, then I'm just gonna wedding announcement here, and again swing with just the well. Yeah, I'm gonna swing with just the vampire again. Okay, we got a light blinker. That's good. And if we get a land next turn, that'll be even better because we can play Archangel Brat. Pick off one of these guys here. I don't think we can take all that damage. So we do something like this. That seems reasonable. Really? It chose to kill the token? Interesting. So we definitely want to start building up our life gain here, huh? That's not the land we need. Alright, well let's go ahead and get... Oh boy, I think we want to heal our Evolved Sleeper out. And then I'm not going to swing with anything here. There's the planes we needed. That's okay. I'm not going to swing with anything. We're kind of on the defensive right this second. Yeah, the wedding announcement props for the welcoming vampire and Elis Ilkor are very nice. There's Liliana. A fight? And you think you can win? Definitely sacking the 1-1. One -one. Sacrifices must be made. Okay, that's fine. Definitely gonna block like this. It just makes sense. And then we can go Shattered Sanctum, Archangel of Wrath. And I think I'm actually gonna shoot Liliana with this guy here. Just to get Liliana off the board. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish after all. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. Alright, we're getting our life game back here. We'll swing at the vampire. Good, 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 good. We're in a great spot now. Things were a little dicey there for a second, but we made it. I think. Perfect. Alright, so yep, our light gain strategy is working here. Which means we might actually want the last Okiba Reckoner raid in. But I don't think there's anything that I want to pull out for it. So I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to stick with this strategy. Okay, this is not good. That's better. I'm gonna actually throw back a planes. Kind of sucks that we're on removal duty here. Don't have a one drop, but at least we just don't have land and keep reckoning rates. Pilfer is fine. We've got two removal spells, so probably the brutal Cathar comes out. Yep. Okay, that's not the worst. Not the worst at all. The tainted Adversary is pretty okay. We can actually now drop an Okiba Reckoner and still leave up the pump for first strike damage. Yes, excellent. We have first strike. Perfect, 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 perfect. We got a misplay. We needed it with this hand. A Graveyard Trespasser. Ooh, I don't know if we want to try and remove that guy. I 
think I'm going to. And I'm going to discard a swamp. We can go ahead and get in a little bit more early damage here. That sucks. That sucks. Ooh, shield right off the top. Huge. Absolutely huge. Let's hope he doesn't have any removal for it. I'm okay with that. So we could really use some card draw. We could get that set up. All right, we'll swing. Start working down his life a little bit. Okay. So we can Legion to Ashes. Oh, these guys can't block. So we are... Ugh. I was going to say we're safe to swing, but we're not because of Death Touch. I'm not going to swing here. I'm just going to play the Evolved Sleeper. And pass. I really want to leave up this Legion to Ashes because Shield Dread is super scary for us. Okay, so I think we actually want to kill the Graveyard Glutton. And then we're going to take the rest of this damage. Well, we could buff the Evolved Sleeper to a 3-3 at least. So something like this. Yeah, 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 that's the play. And I'm okay with that. Good news is he's tapped out here. Nice. We got him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Alright, silver one. We're making our way up. We'll hop right into maybe one more here for this recording. Feels pretty good so far. 2-0. We've done well with our sideboards, and I think that's what's really important here for us. Um, you know, we got to play against a control deck, we got to play against a little bit more aggro-y mid-range style deck. And I think it's been really useful for me to learn how to better sideboard with this deck. So, we'll see if we can go three for three today. Come on, matchmaker, you can do it. So where is our room for improvement in the sideboard and in the main deck? I'm debating pulling out the Shakedown Heavies. They seem to almost always be the first thing to get cut. But I'm not sure what I'd want to put in in their place. It'd have to be probably a 3, maybe a 4 drop. And if we get another 3 or 4 drop, I'm not sure what I want to pull in for that. We might take a look after this game. Alright. We got a platinum player. Interesting. I mean, this is okay, I guess. I have no idea what we're up against. Maybe a Gix deck. 
Okay, that's interesting. Go ahead and drop our tap lane first just to get it out there. That'll also give us a white source. Nice, we gotta cut down for early game removal here. I'm gonna pass so we have Infernal Grasp up and then try and proc the Welcoming Vampire with Frexy Missionary. Interesting. Well, we'll play the Welcoming Vampire. See what we get out of it. A counter spell, that's not what I was expecting. Okay. This could be some sort of Nickel Bolas deck. It's the right colors for this. Play the Upkeep of Reckonerade first. Try and bait out another counter if it's there. That's fine. We'll go grab a Plains. Good, 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 good. Uh, we'll go wedding announcement off of that then. I'm really glad that resolved. Wedding announcement resolving here, I think is actually gonna be huge for us. Okay, so this is definitely a control -y deck. So we're gonna be pulling out our cutdowns for sure. I'm gonna play the shakedown heavy since he's actually tapped out here. That does still leave up the cut down, which is nice. What is this? Whenever you cast a spell or whenever it attacks, destroy up to one target non-land permanent. Its controller creates a tapped power stone token. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, could be better here. Could be better. We do have the Infernal Grasp still up, which is nice. So we can at least remove it and deal some damage this turn. And then we're gonna swing out first, see what we get. He'll probably remove this from combat. No, he let it all through. Wow. Okay, then we'll just drop the fire team missionary. I think there's a good chance he board wipes here. Probably off of that uh, deal five damage to all creatures on the board. But let's see. Ah, another cityscape leveler. Okay. Oh, man, if we had the mana for Invoke Despair, that could win us the game right here. But we don't. So, I'm actually going to... swing with everything. That'll deal four damage. And then play the Phyrexian Missionary to get back the Shakedown Heavy. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Shakedown Heavy back. Hilariously, this is just after we said we were probably gonna cut the Shakedown Heavy for the deck. Okay, so we get to remove two. Man, if we can get a land here. We can get a land. Oh, it probably won't matter because he can just unearth it, huh? So how do we win? No, I think we needed the land to win. Sorry, right, we can at least get a blocker down. So if I swing... With one, no, I don't think I can swing here. If he has any removal, then he just wins if I swing. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 
So we have double block. That means he deals six. We go to one. One land. One one black mana off the top for the game. Come on. Oh, that's just insult to injury. That's so mean. <laughs> Alright, we'll hop into game two then. So we're definitely pulling the cut down for probably a Legion to Ashes. And then what else do we want? See, this is a situation that the, the uh, Graveyard Trespasser would be really good in, because then we could just play it to remove that creature from his graveyard. But at the same time, we can't, you know, compete for every option. Uh, so I'm actually going to maybe pull Shieldred in, take out the Archangel of Wrath, do something like that. That seems more correct. That seems right. Yeah. Maybe pulling out the Shakedown Heavies even though he was useful. And putting in two Duress, something like that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's commit. Alrighty. So we'll probably see a lot more removal come down from him this game, if I had to guess. Because he saw a whole bunch of creatures. This is uh, actually a pretty reasonable hand. Let's get the Okiva Reckoner Raid down turn one. Start gaining some life and start pinging him. We've got two removal spells for his big guys here, which will be nice. Alright, so now we're just looking for land. Off the top, huh? We'll go ahead and play Elis Elcor to get a death toucher down. Yep, there's the removal that we didn't see last game. Okay, so there's three mana. Uh, I think we're actually just going to play the Knight of Dawn's Light here. And then if we get another mana, we can play Shield Red, or we can correct any missionary to go grab the Lucille Core out of our graveyard. Cool. So he's just trying to ramp. Keep my board low and ramp right now. Great. That's fine. And another bolt. Probably. Or some other removal spell. Brain. Okay. Sounds about right. We did not get the land, huh? But if we, now that we have these legions to ashes, we can actually exile his big guys instead of just kill them, which is going to be, I think, pretty essential here. Because otherwise, he could just continuously unearth them. I'm fine with that, actually. That's fine, too. There's our land, so we can go ahead and get Shield Red down. That's nice. That ought to stim his card draw for now. Another Might Stone and Weak Stone does take Shieldred out. 
but he used it probably a turn too early here. So we could use one of these legions to ashes to actually take out the Skitterbeam Battalion. That might actually be the right play here. Let's see if it resolves. That's fine. Nice. Okay, great. Uh, do we want to use the Infernal Grasp here? I think we do. Dealing six damage right out of the gate would be huge. Or he's going to tap his other... He's going to tap this guy to get his other Reckoner Bank Buster out. Nope. Nice. So now if he doesn't have a way to remove Shieldred, we actually win on upkeep. I think we got him. Yeah. Knight. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, in that case, I think I don't want to mess with my sideboard right now. Because that was a really good run out. It's a really good run out. We'll see what he does. I, again, would expect to see probably a good bit of removal coming into his deck if he hasn't already put it in there. Um, so things like the Wedding Invitation are going to be really good. Yeah, his big misplay was playing the Might Stone Weak Stone to, to remove the 2-3 instead of saving it. Uh, but he may just not have had any other removal in his hand. All right, game three. Every match so far, I think, has come down to game three. Unfortunately, he goes first. This is a terrible hand that we cannot keep. That is better. Let's pull the Infernal Grasp out. Getting out the Evolved Sleeper now is nice. Might as well play a Shattered Sanctum while we can. And we'll buff here. I would expect a removal spell, but I can't really do anything else. So, good. Get rid of that. That's nice. Okay. That's fine. We'll go ahead and get down the wedding announcement right away. Good, it resolves. And again, having the Legion to Ashes in our hand is perfect. That's what we really, really want. Uh, we'll play the Knight of Dawn's Light here. It gets countered. Okay. No big deal. So now, unfortunately, we are sitting on removal. And I don't think that's going to be ideal for us. Might stone in a weak stone. Probably draws with it. Yep. We want a shield dread is what we want. That's not a shield dread. We'll swing first, even though he's tapped out. Play the Akiba Reckoner Raid. That'll at least put a threat of another board, of another creature onto the board. And then we'll actually get to draw off the wedding announcement this turn.
Okay. Not really helpful, but, you know, that's okay. At least we have the mana for our big spells. I have half a mind to just kill that guy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna nuke him. I just don't want him ramping up as quickly as he normally would. Another land, huh? Alright, well, you know, it's better than nothing. More ramp. Three, four, five, six, seven. So on his turn, he'll have eight, which will be enough to play the big guy. He's really digging for something. Okay. That's fine, because we can remove it. Ow. This will be a close one. This will be a close one. We'll go planes, and then we'll go Okiba Reckoner Raid. Swing. Legion to Ashes, the Skitter Beam Battalion. Now, unfortunately, we no longer have we no longer have any removal. So if we see something big and scary drop, we're kind of screwed. Here comes the crew. I think we have to chump block this. Ah, okay. Okay, well, we're alive. We're alive. That kind of sucks. One turn too late. Can't swing. So we have to jump block here. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. We got shield dread. So if we can draw a card one time, then we will get a life back, two life back, and we can actually use that to kill his his uh, artifact creature here. All right, let's see what you got. Can you win this turn? He didn't have it. Oh boy. That feels good. So if we play the Welcoming Vampire, that leaves up more than enough to the Infernal Grasp. And I think we want to swing with both here. That'll guarantee damage. And as soon as he does that, okay. I'm gonna Google this because I don't know the answer. But if, after crewing, if I kill the reach, actually, I think I can let this resolve. I'm going to go full control. If I go full control, I'm going to resolve that. And then before blockers, we can kill the unlicensed helix, curse, whatever it is.
Okay, he cruised that. That's fine. We almost had it. We almost had it. Come out of full control. Now, if he does have the removal spell, we're... Oh, no, we went on upkeep. Yep. Wow. Wow, those were great games. Those were both... All three of those were really good games. Now, I am going to Google this real quick because I'm curious. If I killed his tutu that crewed... Once it's crewed, it's crewed until end of turn. Vehicles don't have creature types. Okay. So if I killed his 2-2 after he had declared the crew, then it wouldn't have mattered. But because we waited and killed the big guy, he could not kill Shield Red, which won us that on a feet. That was crazy. Okay. That's good to know, though. That's good to know. All right. Well, I'm going to end it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Slice Plays Magic the Gathering Arena. Have a good one.